We're at Little Bulls Island, which has been in the Magwood family for generations and generations, a land grant from the king. And I'm with Clarence Augustus Magwood IV, AKA Rocky. Rocky, we've had a wonderful time today oystering with you. Yeah. And what is it about this part of South Carolina that makes it a real good place for oysters and clams and all those things that go along with it? Um, well, you don't have many big rivers that flow here. You have the main inlet that brings the salt water fresh in and it brings all the stuff from the ocean in here and it just brings all the salt water and pure, it's pure salt water, it's not nothing with no uh, pollution or anything in it. So the oysters have a high salty taste and there's a kind of a sweetness that goes with them too. Yeah, it's a unique sweet taste that comes with them from here um, that, you know, a lot of people don't get that sweet taste. And, um, the only time you can get that sweet taste is if you eat them raw, which you've eaten a few. Yeah. And um, whenever you taste it, it's just different. And, uh, and we're not sure what the sweet taste is, but um, the salt is very salty because they're right here and straight in the inlet of Price's Inlet here. And the shellfish actually contribute to the health of the water in some way, don't they? Yes. The um, actual oysters and clams are actually filters of the ocean. They're one part of the you know, doing the cleaning the ocean up and keeping it clean and pure. And they like all that pluff mud. It's full of nutrients for yep. them, I guess. They, yep, they love all the stuff that comes off of it and the stuff that's in the pluff mud and they just like eating around it, you know, the stuff that's around it. And then the, the clams are in a different part of this yep. ecosystem. And Explain about where they are found. Well, you find, usually you find a clam in a drain in the middle of a small creek, you know, around the areas that have little drains and stuff. And uh, what you do is you, we usually put a lot of shell back and the shells help the, the larva from the clam and the seedling clams to catch and have a place where they don't wash out into the main creeks. They stay in the little creeks and they'll feed back. Okay, and then what are the challenges that you've seen in your career that, um, that you're facing? Because we want this to stay a yeah. sustainable crop down here. Well, we. You know, it's just different uh, things, you know, uh, we have pollution that we worry about and different things like that, just different kinds of pollution and we just make sure that everybody, you know, if you see any trash, we try to pick it up and get it out of the water as fast as we can if we see anything that's polluted. And then uh, you have sand moving in now and we're real worried about the sand. And what's the reason for that, Rocky? Um, the sand is like if we swallow sand, an oyster swallows it, it actually digests just like we do. And the sand that go in there and it breaks down the oyster and, oh. and hurts it and it kills it. It makes it weak to where something else will eat it. So the beach renourishment where the sand doesn't stay where we want it to, sometimes that's causing problems for y'all yeah. in this area. And then all the other storms too, that, you know, just a, like a Storm Matthew and sure. the great storm that came through last year and all the fresh water that comes through that we're not used to having all these different things that we're not used to having here. It's hurting our, uh, you know, the oysters. We um, know that the pluff mud is good for the oyster, but I don't like a lot of pluff mud on my oysters when I'm yeah. eating them. Um, so let's talk about how you clean them. Y'all go yeah. to a lot of trouble. I made a box to where the box drains the water back into the creek. And you sit there and you take a two inch pump down to a three quarter inch hose and it's reduced down so it gives it plenty of pressure and it'll uh, wash in place and so it gets all the mud off and it rolls them back and you can just get everything nice and clean. And that and also recycles those nutrients right back into yep. the and creek. It, and it, any kind of you know little crab or anything that's living on that oyster is actually blowed off by that and it's pushed back into the water. So that's a, another aspect of the sustainable way that y'all are doing all yep. this harvesting. And just making sure we're keeping our place, you know, safe and to the environment. Well, we've got these great cleaned oysters sitting in the boat, and um, I'm wondering where they're going. Um, they're going to go to Arts Bar and Grill, and we're going to go have some. Well, I'm getting kind of hungry. I think we better load up that boat and get yep. back to town. That sounds good to me. We're on Coleman Boulevard in Mount Pleasant, and we are at a place that many people consider a second home. 
Kent Fritz is the proprietor of Arts Bar and Grill. And you are known for these oysters, and we saw these oysters harvested today and followed them here. And once you got them here, you gave them special treatment. Yes, Let's talk about what makes them wonderful. All right, well, when we receive them, we wash them very, very thoroughly. And uh, we've got a special area that we wash them down and make sure that they're as clean as possible, no mud, no dirt, any of that. Uh, we steam them to order, and uh, we give you a great big bucket and uh, let you enjoy the goodness of Old Bay oysters. And you get these locally at how many bushels do y'all go through? Golly. Well, we do uh, a lot. We have an all-you-can-eat special every weekend, Saturdays and Sundays from 1 to 7. And we'll probably do 1,500 to 2,000 bushels this season. So it's a good bit of oysters, and it's a good... A good piece of uh, business for local fishery yes. and that's part of what makes us very proud is to be able to support a local fishery that's and you, you have that attitude towards many of the products that y'all use in your in your business here and let's talk about some of your specialties and where some of the local sourcing comes from so right. this looks absolutely delicious and yeah. I think this is the flounder sandwich that I've heard it people is. rave about yes it is and uh, yeah we are very well known for that um, well, we source our uh, all of our baked goods from Saffron Bakery downtown. Look it's at a nice the beautiful glaze on it. Brioche bun, ah. yeah, beautiful, uh, and that flounder sandwich is super duper popular. Um, two big fillets. And then down here, I've heard that the burger just makes your hair curl if it didn't come that way down here. <laughs> well, it is a mighty good burger. Um, we uh, get our ground beef from Ernest Murray downtown at Murray's Links and Sausages and uh, he is a Charleston institution as far as a butcher and a very good friend and uh, another local vendor that we really try to stick to that. We try to put as much money back into the local economy as we possibly can. And then look at these shrimp. Yes, we serve nothing but local shrimp uh, at Arts and um, during the season they're always fresh that day or the day before at the very longest and uh, during the off season we've had several of the shrimpers that have actually frozen some of that product for us so that even when it's not shrimp season you can still get local shrimp at, at arts and then um oh my goodness who doesn't love a crab cake? <laughs> yes. we have uh i believe a wonderful lump crab cake uh 100 lump and uh house-made remoulade a hickama slaw sweet potato fries delicious you like to tweak and have fun things, even though the basis is just the wonderful foods that we South Carolina love. Yeah, yeah, just something a little different, kind of uh, complimented. Well, I am going to see what this marvelously clean <laughs> South Carolina Bulls Bay oyster tastes like after it gets your special treat. Oh my goodness, look at that little fella. If that just isn't the best. That's the way it's done. Thank you so much for letting us come and visit you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it very much.